I want the same thing he got. What kind of bread? But you don't understand English, man? I just said I want the same thing he got. Palestinian immigrant owner of Minneapolis grocery chain slams cancel culture after he lost $5 million in contracts and laid off 69 staff when BLM targeted him for his daughter's racist teenage tweets. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel, dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. The article states, the immigrant owner of a grocery chain in Minneapolis has spoken out against cancel culture after his business was attacked last summer over racist tweets his daughter made as a teenager. Majdi Wadi, the founder and CEO of Holy Land Brands, had to lay off 69 longtime employees last summer after furious social media backlash over his daughter Leanne's tweets from 2012, he revealed on Barry Weiss' new podcast. Weiss, the former New York Times op-ed editor who quit the paper last year citing woke bullying, dubbed the incident a prime example of America's cultural revolution on the first episode of her podcast series Honestly. Leon Wadi, who was then working for Holy Land as a catering director, apologized profusely for her old tweets and was fired by her dad, but it did nothing to stem the mob outrage at the family business, leading vendors to cancel $5 million in contracts and the landlord at one location to revoke the lease. Leon issued a groveling televised apology, telling WCCO-TV, I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart. Hopefully this will calm the anger down, but still it did not, he said. They have my home address in the social media, people asking other people to come attack where I live. I had to evacuate the home for 10 days, live in the secret place where nobody knows where my family is. Guys wake up please, the whole world is changing, and we have to stay united and to get together. Let's disagree, we have to disagree with each other from here to tomorrow, it's healthy, said Majdi. America for me is not a place to collect money only. This is home. This is home. I'm gonna defend my home. I would give my life to defend my home," he added. In my opinion, it is sad to see that this guy is having to lay off people from his business that had nothing to do with the tweets. Unfortunately you can no longer tweet what you really feel without it coming back to bite you. Even my opinions come under attack from time to time. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.